You guys see that post, that lamp post? It's right in the center of this bridge. I can show you. So right now my back is against the light, but I'll just turn around. So today I want to talk to you guys about H.265 and H.264. Now these are video codecs and what's the difference? Should you even care about which one to use? And the reason why I want to talk about this is because on my iPhone 12 Pro using the Blackmagic camera app, I can only use two video codecs, which is the H.265 and the H.264. Now the H.264 is also known as the AVC or the Advanced Video Codec. And whereas the H.265, also known as the HEVC, which is the High Efficiency Video Codec. Now, last week I was filming and I realized that I could only shoot up to 30 frames per second. And I thought maybe it was because of an update that I had installed on my iPhone 12 Pro. But it wasn't that. Later on, I realized my Blackmagic camera app was switched to H.264. Now, in H.264, you can only shoot up to 30 frames per second. I don't know if this also still holds true for later models of the iPhone, such as the 13, the 14, and the 15. But with the 12 Pro, I can only shoot up to 30 frames per second using H.264. H.265 on the other hand allows me to shoot up to 60 frames per second. I don't know what again it is like for other models of the iPhone but with the 12 Pro I can only shoot up to 60 frames per second using the H.265. Now why these two video codecs? One of them, of course, is the predecessor of the other one. The H.264 is an older version of the H.265. So I'll just give you a little bit of history. H.264 came out in 2003 and H.265 came out in 2013. One of them, of course, is older than the other and has been used widely by even mainstream media such as broadcasting but it has its place i must say and of course you might be wondering oh does it really matter do i get better quality if i shoot in a more newer video codec the answer is yes and no now depending on what kind of content you're creating if you're just creating content for social media such as youtube facebook instagram tiktok then it really doesn't matter Unless if your viewers are people that like pixel peeping, then that is really when maybe some differences in quality can be noticeable. But I want to tell you that it really doesn't matter. You can shoot in H.265 or H.264. But I want to tell you the difference is H.264 compresses video files and its compression is actually quite efficient and it gives you small file sizes. But when you compare it against the H.265, you're getting way more compression, but also maintaining a higher video quality. Now that is where H.265 shines because you're able to get more out of the compression that comes with social media. You know when you upload a video on YouTube, it's compressed. But when you have H.265, then that is a very good video format to upload on the social media platform. So it won't suffer a lot from the compression that comes from the YouTube algorithm, TikTok, and all these other social media platforms. So H.265 would be your best bet. Now, when it comes to file sizes, I'll just stand up. Now, when we talk about file sizes, H.265 gives you a relatively smaller file size as compared to H.264. Now, if you're shooting at higher resolutions, such as 4K and 8K, ultra high definition video, then H.265 would be your go-to. Because with H.265, you're going to get about half the size of video file size as compared to the H.264. In other words, if you're using a smartphone like this that has limited storage, then your best bet would be using H.265 because the file sizes are half the size of what you would have got shooting H.264. Now, also talking about the bitrate, H.265 offers you a lower bitrate as compared to H.264, meaning that you can still shoot high revolution video but at lower bitrate which of course translates into low video files also talking about bandwidth when it comes to streaming if you're streaming video then h.265 would be your best to go to because with h.265 even at low bandwidth you're still able to get great quality video streamed using h.265 now if you're in areas that have low bandwidth, 
then you need to consider H.265 because in that way you are assured of greater quality even at lower band width. This is beautiful. So the other item I want to talk about is processing power. Now if you use an older smartphone such as the 12 that I use right now, then you're likely to have lesser processing power as compared to folks that use the latest models of the iPhone, such as the 13, the 14, and the 15. So those ones have more processing power as compared to my 12 Pro here. So shooting at H.265, you're going to require more processing power as compared to a person shooting at H.264. And of course, what that means is you're not going to be able to shoot longer videos in a long run because you're going to run out of battery. It's too bright because I'm against the sun. But yeah, that is in terms of processing power, H.265 will give you a shorter filming time because of the power resources that it requires to process and compress video. Now I must go up the stairs because my break time is done. Walking like this against the sun, I believe you guys are only seeing some sort of silhouette from me <laughs> and you're only able to hear my voice right now. The other thing I want to talk about is compatibility. Of course, both codecs are very compatible when it comes to wide range of devices and platforms. But H.264 has a slight edge on this one because, I mean, it's been around for some time as compared to the newer codec, the H.265, which is pretty new and has not yet been adopted by most devices. So H.264 would be your best bet if you wanted to have more compatibility across most platforms. So here we go up the stairs. So that's that for now. Thank you for watching. I hope we've cleared the differences between H.265 and H.264. And subscribe to the channel and hit like and share. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Did you see how that guy gauged the camera? Jesus.